Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have this series. We have to check whether it is absolutely convergent, conditionally convergent or divergent series. First of all, we will check it is absolutely convergent or not. Let me write a given series first. We have, we will call it as summation a n. Okay, so this is our summation a n, which is summation what we have cos n upon n square n running from 1 to infinity obviously okay so you know well how to check the given series is absolutely convergent or not we apply mod to it let us do then summation mod n is equal to we will have summation if you apply mod we'll have mod cos n see there is no need to apply mod to the denominator since we have n square which cannot be negative so that's why we will have simply n square after applying mod okay so we have to check whether this series is convergent or not okay see one thing uh, we know that okay let me write we know that we know that mod cos n is always less than or equal to 1 okay this is true for any n belongs to set of natural number actually we know that mod cos theta is always less than or equal to 1 theta can be any angle okay so therefore mod cos n is also less than or equal to 1 so uh, let me divide both sides by n square so what will we have so therefore mod cos n upon n square less than or equal to 1 upon n square for all n belongs to set of natural number actually n square is a positive real number so that's why if you multiply or if you divide by both sides same inequality will be maintained getting so this is a very important thing we have got i am calling it as one so we have some space let us use okay see we know that clearly clearly summation one upon n square is a p series see we know that this is a p series p series means what summation 1 upon n raised to p if you have any series in this form we call it as a p series we have already proved one result when you have a p series with p greater than 1 then that is a convergent series what is value of p here with p with p p is 2 since p is nothing but power of n which is 2 here and which is definitely greater than 1 so therefore by that result we can say this series is convergent so therefore summation 1 upon n square is convergent series see this is a convergent series see already we have got this type of inequality this is less than this one 1 upon n square summation 1 upon n square is convergent series that means larger series is convergent then definitely this series is also convergent by comparison test we can say that okay so let me write so therefore by comparison test therefore by comparison test what can we write summation mod cos n upon n square is convergent okay let me mention from inequality one also mm, yes we can say this one okay so therefore this is a convergent series and this is nothing but summation mod n so therefore therefore let me mention therefore summation mod n is convergent series so if you apply mod to each term and if you take summation then the resultant series is convergent that means say summation n is absolutely convergent series let me mention so therefore summation a n is absolutely convergent series okay so summation n that means a given series which is absolutely convergent we know that if any you have any absolutely convergent series then it definitely it is convergent series since that is one result in which we have already proved every absolutely convergent series is convergent so therefore let me mention therefore summation n is convergent getting so yes therefore we proved this series the given series is absolutely convergent as well as it is convergent series yes make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye